Here we have a progression from an unsown tray to the just sown tray to stages of development, both root and shoot development. Uh, these stocks were sown about three weeks ago and in fact they're not quite ready to come out and be transplanted. Well, we have a nice uh, four or five uh, leaves above ground. The roots probably aren't quite developed as you see I'm bare rooting it. Not good. Moving on we have uh, stages development. Uh, two different lettuces here. Uh, root knit is pretty good as you see in this uh, as we move on to a uh, slightly larger pretty good and this is one of the principal advantages to this Todd Speedling. Uh, the way it's designed uh, when the roots hit the bottom of the hole, the air slot in the bottom, it air prunes them and they branch and become extremely fibrous as you can see here. But either of these two are at a stage that's ready to plant out with the root ball intact. And similarly this broccoli, good to go. Uh, white roots are healthy roots, uh, actively growing. As you saw on this uh, lettuce uh, seedling here, a uh, little bit of browning, stayed too long at the party as it were, definitely needs to go on the ground. But this is just about right in terms of root development and root vigor. Okay. Here we have a pr progression of the wooden flats, just sown, ready to be pricked out, just pricked out ready to be planted out, a fully mature plant. In truth, probably a little over mature. Uh, but at this stage, you can very easily cut little squares and transplant. One of the advantages of going in this wooden flat, sow, prick out, plant out uh, route is that you can get a much bigger transplant. You can deal with the vagaries of the garden, bad weather, wind, rain, slugs, snails, birds, etc. If that's of value to you, uh, a bigger transplant. Um, going the speedling route is a good route to go for things that you don't want to direct sow but do not transplant readily. Because the whole root ball knits together, there's very little transplant shock. So lettuces, Chinese cabbages, things of that nature that would otherwise have to be direct seeded but maybe uh, it's a little too labor intensive to care for them directly in the ground, you can get a pretty good transplant at about 40 days from sowing this route. This route will take a couple, three weeks longer in the container in the greenhouse, but will result in a bigger transplant. Let's talk about the hardening off process prior to transplanting out into the field or garden. Uh, the concept is that you toughen your plants up. Uh, you do this by stretching the time interval between waterings in the last one to two weeks before transplanting. Uh, and if they've been in doors in a greenhouse or under a hoop house, you put them outdoors where they're exposed to higher sunlight levels and a little buffeting from the wind. The net result of these things is that it causes the plants to stop making new succulent shoot growth and it makes thicker cell walls, thicker stems and leaves. It literally toughens them up or hardens them off. This is important if there's any great, say greater than 10 to 15 degree differential between your indoor propagation zone growing and your outdoor field growing. This is all the more important with warm season crops, tomatoes, peppers, etc. in the early spring where the weather can be a bit back and forth. 